it most certainly does, Dale. I think that to the the government in its defense, uh, the, the government's defense in this matter was that they did not necessarily even challenge the breach. What their claim was that uh, Mr. Arzu, the former ombudsman, and other contract officers have acquiesced, basically agreed through their conduct by not um, by not raising any objections to the or quitting their jobs or in for because of the salary because of the allowance cut and the learned magistrate in his opinion said that based on the facts of this circumstance now each each circumstance brings its own unique facts uh, let's make that clear and um, but in this circumstance that it was not acquiescence and therefore that mr arzu was entitled to the the, the damages that he claimed that we mounted on his behalf. From your perspective, why do you think that this particular case is so significant in context of the pay cards? Because you you rightfully said it, Dale, in that it's there are no he was not the only individual who suffered a cut of his allowances. I think it's quite a significant number of persons. And so the the liability for government might be significant because again the, the question was that these contract officers entered into a binding fixed term contract meaning that neither of the parties could depart from any of the terms and the conditions and obviously remuneration including allowances is a integral part of a contract and therefore no one party could arbitrarily nor unilaterally and change those terms and conditions without the other party accepting those changes and agreeing to those changes. And so therefore the, the, the government's decision to unilaterally cut um, those allowances was illegal, null and void.